Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at some updates that have come out on the stream in Google Classroom. Before we jump into a class though, I don't know if there's another update you might have noticed or not, but actually on your dashboard where you see all your Google Classrooms, you no longer see the photo of your teacher and some of the information here. So just being aware of that change because it might change some of the information you put into the information fields in your Google Classroom. So we're going to create a new classroom. So here we can see our Google Classroom. You can see the class name here and the section information appearing there. So some of the things that are different in the recent updates. So one of the first changes we're going to look at is the banner. Now this has really just moved from where it was previously to a nice button here where you can see it says customize. If I click on here, we can upload or we can select themes. Always check out the themes because they're often adding new ones in there. If I go to customize, I can upload a photo. It'd be really brilliant, Google, if you could do this so we can do it from Google Drive and not just from our desktop. So I select the photo. I appreciate it's different on a Chromebook. And so I'm going to add my photo in here. Now previously, Google would darken the image, but that's now been removed, that feature, so it will just be a pure image on there. Um, now one thing, again, I'd really love to see is the ability to choose whether you darken it or not, pretty much like you do on Google Sites. So that's a new one to come, hopefully. Okay, other updates you can see. We've now got the Google Meet link here. There's a nice box on its own. I can click here to generate the link. Before I do that, let's click on the three dots. I can remove this box if I don't want to have it here. But if I click generate link, it creates the Google link. I click save. So now you see a join button for the Google Meet. And you can also see that it's visible to students. If I now click on the three dots and click manage, I can turn off the visibility and click done. Again, if I click on the three dots, manage. If I click on the drop down, I can copy, reset, and remove the Google link as well. The other thing you'll notice, we've now got the class code on a box on its own here as well. So again, if I click on the three dots, I can copy it. I can turn it off if I want to. If I can see it there, I can maximize that, display it so that people can see it. Always use a good option is to copy the invitation link and then share that with people if they need it as well. The last thing you see here is the upcoming work for the class. Okay, one more thing I noticed on the stream was this little eye icon for class information. If I click that, all I see is the class code, which isn't that useful at the moment because we've already got that elsewhere. But actually, if I click on the settings cog and then go into my class details, if I then begin to type some information into my class description, so I can add info here. So this, for example, could be a link to a Google site um, where you have resources for your class. Click Save. And now you can see, if I click on my eye, I have my description and information there as well. So it's a really handy place to add some extra info for your Google Classroom. So these are the updates for the stream for November 2021. I hope these have proved useful and help with your use in Google Classroom.